Hi there. In this video, I want to talk to you about deadlines and how you can use deadlines to increase your productivity. My name is Bumi Toho. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk to you about is that when it comes to deadlines, a lot of people hate deadlines. And why is that? Well, deadlines to have to complete something just puts pressure on you. And deadlines are mostly external. It's like external pressure that has been put on you to have to finish something at a particular time or on a particular day and to submit it for scrutiny or to submit it because it's so important to the person or to the organization if you're working or to your business that you feel so much under pressure to have to deliver. The other sector of the society are those who love deadlines. They just love deadlines. They love deadlines because perhaps they know the benefits of deadlines. And there are certain other people who create deadlines because they are the ones operating on the, on the higher level. They understand that if they can just create deadlines and meet those deadlines, they're going to be much more productive in their life. So they actually create deadlines for themselves. Now, think about this. Do you know that most sales happens in December? Why does most of the sales from an organization happen in December? So, oh, well, it's because of Christmas. Well, actually, it's because there is a deadline in December. There's an unavoidable deadline. There's a global deadline. Everybody knows that. Come Christmas, shops, organizations, businesses are going to close. So everybody wants to get their work in just before that deadline occurs. That's one of the reasons why most people generate immense amounts of sale towards the end of the year. But how can we use that to actually increase our productivity on a week by week basis, on a day by day basis. Why do you want to be waiting till December to do? To do that, we want to try to find a way, and that's why we're watching this video today. I'm going to show you a way in which you can actually begin to do that. So, the point about deadlines is that deadlines actually has a lot of benefits. And when we remember the benefits or we focus on the benefits of a deadline, then we are more likely to create deadlines and institute deadlines into our daily activities. Now, the first benefit of a deadline is that it helps you to focus. There's nothing that brings you to your seat in your office or in your home to get you to focus on the assignment on hand like a deadline. You know, you've got to submit this thing by tomorrow tomorrow afternoon at 12 noon. You're kind of focused. You're like, you are, you practically avoid any kind of distraction. You move things out of the way. You stop doing certain things so that you can focus on this one thing. And when you focus on this one thing, you then you become much more productive to, to finish that one thing, okay? Deadline is a good thing. It helps you to focus. Secondly, deadline, and this is a, you know, uh, thanks, thanks folks, kind of the end of a movie. At the end of a movie, guess what? You have to do something else. Either you are going to go from that movie and watch another movie, but you know that this is the end. Now, how does that relate to deadlines? Well, deadlines help you to bring a closure to an assignment. For many of us, we're working on something and we, and we just keep tweaking it and keep trying to improve it and keep trying to get it better keep needing more information, you know, you know what I mean? Keep needing more things. Oh, I wish I could change that picture. Oh, I should change that headline. I should, you know what? We could do that for weeks. And many people do that for weeks. The only reason why people are less productive, well, one of the reasons why people are less productive than they could be is because they keep tweaking this thing and it's never gonna be finished. So they never release anything. They're waiting for a perfect 
perfect, perfect product. I use that three times because people are wait, waiting for the most perfect report before they send it. They're waiting for the mo most perfect video before they send it. They're waiting for the most perfect letter before it's sent. And you know that, hey, if you have a deadline though, you're gonna have to let it go. By letting it go, you put a closure to that. And guess what? You can get on with the next assignment. And in a sense, that has helped you to achieve more. You can achieve more because you're focused. You can achieve more because you put a closure to an assignment and you can get on with the next thing. So if you are able to get on with the next thing, then you're going to be able to release more. You're going to in, in, increase your output, increase also the quality of your output. If you're focused on an assignment, it helps you to bring everything you know to bear down on that assignment, to get you focused. And in that way, you tend to increase the quality of your output. If you're doing all this stuff, guess what's happening? You are going to be achieving much more than you thought was possible. So what you and I need to do is to go back to the third type of people and to create deadlines. That's what I do now. I create deadlines. I've got like a list. I'm like, okay, I got to do this by this date or by this hour or by this time. If you create deadlines, you are more likely to reach those deadlines and you are more likely to deliver and achieve more. Now, Brendan Bouchard was talking about uh, artificial deadlines, that a lot of people have artificial deadlines. It's not really when they need something from you, but they tell you that, oh, can I have it by Monday? <laughs> Funny enough, I do that. If I need something on a Wednesday, I'm going to ask you for it on a Monday because I think to myself, well, you know, so you know that you... I, I need to know, maybe it's for me, I need to know that I have two extra days just in case you don't deliver, all right? But Brendan was talking about the fact that a lot of people have artificial kind of deadlines and if you're not careful, you tend to be working on those artificial deadlines instead of the real deadline. Okay, I understand that and I get that and that's true. You need to be working on the real deadline. So what he does, he will write you a note to say, okay, when is the real deadline? Because I don't want to be working on your artificial deadline. Maybe not in those words, but that's what it means really. So if you are not working on artificial deadlines, then you are less likely to feel under that pressure that we all feel to deliver something. But the point I'm making is this. If you create a deadline that you plan to meet yourself, that's that internal motivation right there. That's intrinsic because you, want, you really want to reach that deadline. So if you do that, it's going to help you to focus, it's going to help you to bring a closure to some assignments, and it's going to help you to achieve more. So go ahead right now and create some deadlines around the work that you are doing. Create it yourself. Make it realistic, but do create it. Hey, here's a question that I have for you. Is there any other way that you use deadlines to achieve more? Please post in the comment box below. Now, here are two books that I think will help you on the subject of deadlines, productivity, and increasing your achievement. It, one of them is High Performance Habits by Brendan Bouchard, which I really love, and also the 12-week year. That 12-week year just changed my life, changed my output when I read it a couple of years ago. That's such a great book. So make sure you read those two books and I'm sure that you get more tips on how to increase your productivity. All right, please do subscribe to this channel, like it, comment below. Let me know how, what do you use to increase your productivity or what other deliberate deadlines do you set? that has helped you in the past so that we can all learn together. So subscribe, like it, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bless you.